Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I'd do something a little bit different and do the makeup on my beautiful friend Leonie here in Nandi, Fiji. Thought it would be nice to just switch up skin tones, do something different. Hope you enjoy, please subscribe and like the video. So to start off, I'm using my Native Rituals Hydrating Makeup Fix. I use this on myself, I use this on my clients. It's a beautiful product to just hydrate the face and prep as well for makeup. Follow with my La Pro Base, which is from Hong Kong, which is a smoothing primer. And I'm just focusing this on the center of the face and then using what's ever is left on my brush on the outside of the face. I then mixed MAC Strobe Cream with Estee Lauder Double Wear in the shades 6W1 on the sort of outer portions of the face and on the inner portion, Shell Beige, which is 4N1, to brighten the middle of the face. This foundation is beautiful, it's long wearing, it's smoothing, and I find if you do mix it in with a really hydrating kind of moisturizer or cream um, based product, it just goes on really smoothly. Then I'm using this Simply Essential brush, it's a rose gold brush from the Beauty Collective and I'm putting on my uh, LA Concealer which is in the colours Warm Honey and Medium Bisque, mixing them together, popping them under her eyes and just using the brush to kind of get in those delicate areas and gently buff it in and then I'm using some of the same product on her T-zone, uh, down her nose, on her cupid's bow and on her chin to just bring some more light and dimension to the centre of her face. Then I'm just grabbing the same foundation brush, this is the Spectrum Kabuki style brush and you can get these from She Loves Cruelty Free and I am just buffing in that concealer just into her face and blending it well into the foundation. Then to rehydrate the face I'm using the Native Rituals uh, Hydrating Makeup Fix. I do have a discount code for this product if you want to try it out for yourself, it's just in the down bar. Now I'm using that same brush from Beauty Collective and I am using the darker shade of LA Pro Conceal and I am doing just a light cream contour for Leonie's face. She doesn't need much more shape and definition, she already has a beautifully shaped face but I'm just adding a little bit more dimension on her cheekbones and also placing some down the sides of her nose just to uh, contour the nose and just to make it appear a little bit slimmer. Once I've applied that with the um, brush, I'm going in with my foundation brush again and just kind of patting the product in. I don't actually like to swipe the product too much because it can move the product. We kind of just do patting motions that will just blend it in nicely. Just doing the same along her forehead and I like doing this as well because it does bring in some more kind of bronze and definition to the outer portions of the face as well. Then adding some Benefit Drew the Hula Bronzer just uh, onto her cheeks to give her a bit more of a glow. And I'm setting her under eye concealer and down her nose, uh, chin and forehead with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I'm just doing a light uh, dusting of this on top of those areas because I don't want any creasing, but I also don't want her face to look too powdery. Let the rest of her face, I'm using my Mary Kay Mineral Powder Foundation. I'm just doing a really light dusting with a blush brush on top of the rest of her face. And then I'm going in with my favourite contour palette, this is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette, you've seen me use it a million times before. And I'm using another Spectrum um, face brush and I'm just kind of contouring lightly underneath her cheekbones um, and using a smaller fluffy blending brush to just blend that down the sides of her nose to kind of set that cream contour that we've done earlier. Then I'm using the Smashbox uh, Bronze Lights palette, uh, bronzer I think it's called, and using that same blush brush I'm just dusting that on uh, the outer perimeters of her face and also on her cheeks to give a nice bronzy natural glow. Then I'm grabbing Champagne Pop from Becca Cosmetics and Jaclyn Hill using that same Spectrum brush I already used, just kind of dusting off any other powders that are on it. And I'm highlighting the top of her cheekbones, down her nose and her cupid's bow, just to kind of bring some light to her face. And then I'm using Max Marble Blush for a nice natural blush. I didn't want anything too crazy or too bright. And this just gave her um, cheeks a really nice natural glow. Going into her brows, I'm using uh, this QVS brush, which is uh, quite good for eyebrows, especially gel products. 
and I'm using the spoolie end to brush Leonie's brow hairs up so they're easy to fill in and then I'm using the other end which is quite a wide um, eyebrow brush which I quite like and I'm using Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in medium brown to fill in the eyebrows. I'm just using um, sweeping motions to kind of carve out the shape of her brows, fill them in with like brush hair like strokes and then tip the brush and kind of flick it upwards to create that illusion of brush hairs at the front and I also didn't want it to be too blocky at the front so I just kind of faded it out a bit. brush that I used earlier with the concealing products and the same concealer I am just uh, popping it all over Leonie's lids and then using like a flat definer brush to just carve out the bottom of her brows and then setting these products with the Kat Von D shade my eye contour palette and using that peach contour shade all over the lids to just set them and make sure there's no creasing and the eyelids are all nice and primed. Then I'm going in with the rust rusty shade which is my favorite shade in this palette and which is why I bought the eyeshadow quad as well and I'm using a fluffy brush to kind of define the outer areas and the crease of Leonie's eyes just for a nice smoky look just give a bit more definition and I really love how the rust uh, shade really warms up the eyes and brings some light to them I'm then going in with a smaller, more defined brush and I'm using the dark brown next to that rust colour and I am just putting that in the outer edges of Leonie's eyes and really just trying to bring more definition to the ends and also just darken, darken them up a little bit. Just using blending motions back and forth with screen wiper, you know the drill, and just kind of creating a very subtle smoky cat eye. Then I'm going back in with that rust colour and the fluffier blending brush and I'm bringing that brown more into the centre of the lids and kind of blending it in with that darker brown I used to define the outer areas of the eyelids. We were trying to decide which colour to go on the lid but we decided to go with a nice gold shade. So this is from the Vegas Lights Makeup Geek palette and I am just popping it on the same brush on the inner part or inner third of the eye and blending it into the middle of the eye so that everything is nice and blended. Going back in with that brown colour, the rust colour, I'm just blending it all in and making sure it's all seamless and there's no harsh lines. Then I'm using a tapered blending brush in their rust colour and I am going underneath Leonie's eyes just to kind of bring some definition under there, bring the look together and then using a flat definer brush, like a, a flat shader brush, I am using that darker brown to go under her eyelid closer to her lash line to bring more definition and it also makes the lashes look fuller. Then I went in with a black shade right on the eyelash line and so just to make it a little more smoky, a little more intense but also is it to bring more volume to the lashes. Then just going in with that black on a small tapered blending brush and just really defining that outer corner because uh, once the colours had all blended in together some of the definition had been lost. So just going in with the black just kind of deepens it up a little bit. Then using that flat shader brush and just going along the only lash line on the top just to bring some more volume to the upper lashes and also prepare more for the false lashes. Just using my Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara, this is not my one obviously purposely, um, but I am using this on a disposable spoolie to pop that through Leonie's eyes, lashes. Then I'm using that Vegas Lights palette again with the um, ivory coloured shade and I'm using that on the inner corners, it looks beautiful on her skin tone, I wish it showed up like on me like this. Um, but it's so beautiful and it's just a really really kind of like pale ivory gold and it just really brightens the inner corners so beautifully. 
Then we went in with this, I think this is a Jordana Auto Lip Liner and I am just lining her lips. It's like a kind of deep berry shade. I'm using this Kaylin um, Matte Liquid Lipstick which these products are awesome, I've used them before. Um, but on her skin tone this one just looked beautiful, really nice and natural and not too dark. And I think as it's set it just dried down to the perfect kind of lip colour for her. Pop some glue on the eyelashes and then just applied them. These are Eve lashes in the style Lara and they're just a beautiful natural lash. You can buy these on a one-off or on a subscription basis and they're a New Zealand based company so definitely check them out. They look really beautiful on Leonie, nothing too overpowering and for this kind of more natural look they weren't um, yeah, too overbearing. And then just set them again with some black eyeshadow and then for the final look I am just setting up with Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And that's the final look. Leonie was so cute when I uh, revealed her the very dirty mirror. I apologize about that. But she never wears uh, much makeup, so it was really nice to be able to um, do her up a little and show her what I could do. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video, something a little different. If you do like the video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And follow all my social media links, they're all down below. And I would love to chat with you on those. Until next time, see you later. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,